guys welcome to another video this video is very important because we are going to talk about the best rune light plugins to use now if you don't know what rune light is it is the most popular third-party client that is verified by jagex to play old school runescape rune light offers accepted plugins you wouldn't be able to find anywhere else but there is a specific way to download rune light which i'll leave a link in my description it will take you to this web page and all you have to do is select download and which operating system you have and you're all set so now that you're in rune light there is a tab or i should say wrench in the right hand corner and then this is where you'll be searching all of the plugins that we're going to be talking about today there are so many plugins on rune light we could not even get through half of them but um, whenever you get a chance, after we talk about the plugins today, just take a look. See what will fit your gameplay, uh, your kind of gameplay style. I mean, there are so many that will help with every little piece of content in this game. So the first plugin we're going to talk about is inventory setups. This plugin is a must if you do a lot of PVM or PKing. Honestly, any kind of content. But when downloaded, you'll get a little tab on the side of your rune light and this will show you pretty much all of the saved setups that you need for any kind of activity that you're doing um, it's amazing because when you go in here you can save just about everything it's got a slot for your rune pouch your equipment your spell book additional filtered items and any kind of notes that you want to leave in there for whatever you're doing okay so next is emote clue items this is a definite must if you have an iron man or if you do a lot of clue scrolls, this pretty much shows every item that you're gonna need for each tier of clue scrolls. Now, I'm not the biggest clue scroll hunter, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I just started getting into them and I was wondering, I'm like, I don't know if I'm gonna need this in the future, especially on my Iron Man where I don't have a lot of stash spots. So this is perfect. I don't like leaving it on though because I don't like all the dots, but I turn it on anytime that I'm just wanting to update or if I need to check to see, hey, do I need to keep this item? Because it shows literally every single item that you're gonna need for every single clue scroll. This next plugin is, <laughs> I actually just found it myself and I'm thankful that I did because there are so many different YouTube tutorials that I've watched where I am just trying to copy the tile markers that they make because they don't link them in the description. Now, every YouTuber that does link them in the description, you are a special type of human being, and I love you, but of course, there is a plugin for that issue. What you're gonna download is Tile Packs, and when you download it, you're gonna get another little uh, tab on the side of your rune light, and it's gonna give you a long list of bosses with certain methods or just tiles that you need to kill that boss so when you're getting ready to do your new boss and you don't know what tiles you need and you have the tile packs plugin downloaded all you need to do is come over here and look for your boss they don't have all of them i don't think but they have just about everything so then we're going to come over here to hunlift and we're just going to add the tile packs and boom there it is you don't have to worry about it you don't have to go searching all over reddit or youtube for those tile markers they give it to you right here this is a blessed plugin to whoever made this you're amazing this next plugin is definitely one of those quality of life plugins that make those long grinds a little bit more bearable but it is menu entry swapper and what this does is pretty much anything you can think of you have customizable left click shift click I mean, there's so many different things. It's a little too long to get into, but one of the favorite things that I like that I can just come over here, hold down shift, right click, swap, left click, and you can pretty much do this with any item for the uses that it's gonna give you. And I just pick drop. So when I'm over here, barbarian fishing, I don't have to, you know, right click drop or hold down shift. I can just click every single item and not have to worry about it. So it's just one of those quality of life uh, plugins that I think every single person should have. I use it a lot when I'm blackjacking. I can uh, switch the use for the wines that I use and I just drop them all. Um, it's amazing. It's definitely one of those plugins that everybody should have. 
This next one is specifically for the hardcore Iron Man, but everybody can get a use out of it. This is unresponsive cursor, and it pretty much tells you when either your Wi-Fi is going out or the servers are acting up like usual, so you can get that quick teleport in. I, I've used it since I figured out what it was, and I will never let it go. If you're a PKer, then you probably already know about the plugin I'm about to talk about, but if you don't, this is why I am here. This is Wilderness Multilines, and what this plugin does it shows you all of the wilderness zones that will be multi-combat. So if you're PK and you do not have this plugin, bless your heart, man, because this is, you definitely need it. I can't tell you how many times I've been out here doing a clue scroll or actually just PKing, which I suck. I'm total that PKing, so that doesn't happen very often. But I'm out here and I don't know where the wilderness multi-lines are. Well, now that I have this plugin, it's not a problem. It also shows you the 30 line and the 20 line. So whenever you need to know, you can teleport. That is also amazing. Uh, tons of times I'll be doing RDO or spindle and obviously you're going to get crashed and you need to know when you can teleport. You don't want to look over here all the time. It shows you all of those lines on the spot and it's just super helpful. It's quality of life. Here's our 20 line. Now I know where I need to teleport. So if you're a PKer, definitely get this plugin. This next one is definitely for you uh, 94 way, one tick, 16 tick switchers. Uh, this is called anti-drag. And what anti-drag does is it gives you a little delay in dragging your inventory. So what happens is when you're doing like say a three way switch, sometimes if you don't have it on, you can kind of mess up and end up with your inventory looking all weird. So when you're at Alm or any kind of boss, then you look down and all your inventory is messed up, especially when you're PKing, uh, it's not too good. So this is my settings as well. Anything above 13 kind of, actually I should say anything above 15 seems a little too delayed. Uh, and you can also change it to on shift only, but that just seems like you're doing the most. But I think this is the perfect setup. That way I can do all of my switches and not have to worry about me flinging my Bandos chest plate all the way to the corner of my inventory. This next plugin is a plugin that I've had for just about ever. I mean, I got it when I first got back into RuneScape where I was catching up. There was so much new content in the game that I just, I had no idea. Um, this is pet info. It's super simple. Once you download it, you'll be able to right click on a pet that you don't know what it is and it'll show you whose pet it is and what the name of the pet is. So once you go to info, it'll show you the little nightmare is dropped by the nightmare at varying rates from one to 4,000 to one to 800 based on team size or from Fusani's nightmare at a rate of one to 4,000. It's perfect, uh, especially if you are a pet hunter or if you're just new to the game. Uh, it gives a lot of good information that I've had forever. This next plugin I use pretty much every single day on my Iron Man, and this is World Hopper. And a lot of people get it confused with World Switcher, which is the default World Switcher on your RuneLight plugin. But if you go and download World Hopper, it gives you some hotkeys. And what you can do is, especially for Iron Man, is if you're uh, in a shop and you're buying out everything that they have, and what are you gonna do? You're gonna go to your world switcher. No, that takes too long. So what you're gonna do is download world hopper and then you can pretty much hold down control, shift, left or right to go anywhere in the world. And you can also put in filters if you just wanna put in like different like skill totals, PVP, fresh start worlds, anything. And also the region filters, USA, UK, your Germany, wherever you're from, but it makes life a little bit easier. Just control shift, right? and automatically hops to the next filtered world that you have. Okay, so this next plugin is strictly for the Iron Man or whoever wants to access Ali Morrisane's Rune Shop in Al Karid. If you're anything like me and you never played Sudoku in your life, this plugin is a lifesaver. So it literally just shows you all the answers for his Rune Doku puzzle. And all you have to do is click the green boxes and you'll have access to all of his runes at a cheaper price. It just saves a lot of time because I know how many times that I went online to try to do a Sudoku 
uh, solver and it just takes a long time and I'm not the, the brightest crayon in the box, but it definitely makes life a lot easier. So these next set of plugins that I'm going to talk about are specifically made for content creation. Um, I wish I would have known about them when I first started making content. They've made my life a lot easier. So if you're interested in making content, um, these plugins are definitely made for you. And the first one I want to talk about is green screen. It's pretty self-explanatory, but all you have to do is enable it and you can change the color whenever you want, but it'll put a green screen behind your character. So you can get a fresh cutout in Photoshop or whatever you need to make thumbnails. I mean, that's what I use it for, but it helps out a lot because sometimes the graphics and RuneScape can become uh, a little bit of a conflict in Photoshop. And this made my life 10 times easier. Yeah, I got this cape first try. I mean, the Inferno, honestly, I mean, it's kind of pretty cool for beginners, you know, but I'm just, I'm ready for some actually challenging content. Shut your bitches! Nah, I'm just kidding. Uh, this is the Fashionscape plugin, and this plugin is kind of fun. Uh, you can use it to fool your friends or do whatever. I use it specifically for thumbnails, and what you can do is... You can pretty much wear any item in the game. You can randomize it. Say, you know what? I'm thinking we can wear some third age. So we'll scroll down here and we'll use that. Boom, boom. All of a sudden we are the richest player in the game. Yeah, it's just a fun plugin, you know? It's really nice for content creation when you're like me and you do not have max stacks because you are casual. You can uh, put on anything you want, you know? This next one is used if you want to get those super sick cinematic shots that you see all the big YouTubers use and it is detached camera. And now this is kind of a two part because detached camera is all right uh, for certain shots. Like you can see it's no longer following my character, but there is no way to slow down the camera. So if I'm going to get a shot, I'll I mean, where I'm not really following anybody and I'll just get one where I'm running, you know, something like that. Then I'll use detached camera. But there is a better way to get those like following camera shots, those cinematic shots like Settle or Soup, Gilnar Games use. And this is called the Oculus Orb. This is not a plugin. You can actually get this from Django in Draenor Village. And what this does is it's actually a way better way to uh, get cinematic shots. Now you can up the speed all you want. As you can see, we're gonna go faster, slower. You can set it up any way you want. I mean, you can really get some pretty cool shots if you just set it up right. And look at that. We're, we're creating movies out here. This one, uh, these two are definitely a must if you're trying to make content, this will this will up your content 100%. Last but not least, this plugin I also use every single day. And this is also, this can be used by non-content creators. If you're just trying to get a cool screenshot of a drop you just got, you have that nice loot, loot beam popping up. It's all colorful. You want to get a cool angle. Um, and it, it is called Hide Widgets. And all you have to do is download it and it'll give you a hotkey and all you have to do is press that hotkey and everything on your screen disappears except for the ping but you know you can crop that out but you can get a perfect image of whatever you want with nothing in the way just hide your mouse and it'll be perfect and then you can uh, go ahead and take a screenshot and i think that's where we'll call it a video if you have any questions don't hesitate to leave a comment and if you like this sort of content i would love for you guys to leave a like on the video and i'll see you guys on the next one